Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the Visa State Meet. You guys can see, already ran the full right, ended up splitting 210 and uh, of the 3200 in about an hour actually. So yeah, we have, a, have had a lot of good performances already. If you enjoyed the content, as always, like and subscribe. Let's get up there in subscribers and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. get it started real quick my friend Nick was the first leg he was showing some perfect pacing staying with the group and uh, making a really good move and maybe the last 200 and then 100 giving us a really good lead um, we had two I think freshmen or sophomores can't remember um, Emmett and Andrew they were in solid legs especially uh, for the fact that they are as young as they are so that was good I was the last leg on the anchor and I was just running relaxed the whole time. I wasn't really even making any pushes because we were so far ahead. So I'm going around right now, as you guys can see, having that really good kick. And uh, that's been something that I've been working on all season. So yeah, happy how that turned out. So the two big talents in this 1600 race ended up being Molly from my team uh, and go, Cecilia from PVI. And she was running way out front. Cecilia was way out front and uh, having a really good race. I think it was like 5.0 something for her. And then also Molly was having a great race too. And she ended up running 5.15, which was a great time. So as the boys are coming to the bell here, things are gonna get pretty hot over this last lap. And I know my friend Aaron uh, from PVI, he has a really good kick. He's mainly a 800 mile guy. So you can see him uh, lengthening up that stride and uh, really starting to run away. So in this race, I know Xander from John Paul, obviously my teammate Chris, we all know him. Perfect. And then Perfect. the big let's boy, go, Frederick go. Kovacs from Woodbury Forest. Uh, my friend Chris, he's, he's doing really well. He's having a really consistent, uh, really consistent race. And the big move from Frederick is coming here. Bell whap, there it is. Um, also uh, Tate Frost, the big tall dude that's Number three, he's running really well. Um, let's go, let's go. So yeah, uh, Chris crosses the line, 200 to go. He's running really fast. He's trying to kick as fast as he can. These boys are really sprinting out front also. Um, and then you can see how that turns out. But Frederick absolutely dominating. And then Xander come, coming right behind him and then Tate. So, and then also Chris, a uh, really good job. To all of those guys, they pushed really hard. This was a fast yeah. race. Let's go, let's go. It was a really nice day on the day of this meet and the track was right outside conveniently, so it was good. Let's go, now boys. let's get into the boys' K. 
You see Kovacs up there. Um, Sean from John Paul, he's up there. And then you've got Ethan from PVI and also Aaron. Um, I think that's over 600 right then. So there's the bell. You guys can see Frenrick has a huge stride. And as you guys will see in about a second here. Yeah, Sean, number uh, second position right now. He has a really fast turnover. He's a bit of a shorter guy. But you can see uh, how fast his turnover is. Uh, he's able to run really fast uh, by taking advantage of that. And Frenrick is a bit of a taller guy, so he has a much longer stride. Anyways, he gets the dub, but Sean's right behind him. They both run 235, which is a great time for the K. So that's my heat in the 32. We got off to actually a slow start, which I didn't really like. But after crossing 400 meters, my coach told me to speed up. So kind of took that into consideration, did just that. So after about six to 800 meters of running, I just decided I would lead the whole thing and set the pace. Um, there's no need to just hang back and let stuff happen. So I realized that, yeah, I did need to pick up the pace a little bit. So leading it was gonna be the best option for me. So um, that's not usually how I like to run races because I like to run races uh, that are uh, they have a lot of fast competitors which are maybe faster than me so that I can get pulled along in the group to a faster time. But anyways, I can do it from any way. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, I was in good shape anyways, so. It was only one kid that made a big move to challenge my position. There's the bell, last lap. Um, I was just still running consistent. I put a little bit of pace in for this last lap. So with around, I don't know, maybe 70 to go, I knew it was gonna come to the sprint off, but I knew it was gonna happen. I knew he was gonna make a move right then. So I wasn't gonna be outdone by this kid. So there it is. And I knew I had to stay at the line to watch this race. It was gonna be really fast. So this race is a big combination of all the fastest runners that were mentioned earlier in this video. And also Charlie Orbans, he's new in this race. That's his, I think that was his first event, which makes sense. He wanted to stay fresh for this big, big, big performance. So you have him and Frenrick and um, Tate Frost and Xander, and Sean and my teammate Chris. So this is always gonna be a fast race. So you guys can see that. Charlie and um, what Frenrich are the only two that are really breaking off. So with about 600 to go, Charlie really made an aggressive move and 
kind of dropped Frenrick and started putting his foot down. There's a bell, 8.37, I think it was. That's, that's an electrifying last lap, if I'm going to tell you guys that. You can see how much he's sprinting here. The energy in this whole race was amazing, and you could kind of tell that people were starting to piece together what was going to happen, and it was a really huge performance. Just wow, guys. If you didn't already catch that, that 3200 was crazy. So shout out to my man, Charlie Orbins for absolutely lighting up the track. Um, he ran 908, and I think that's around the 11th or 12th fastest time in the nation this season. There's a couple of other really good performances, like 423 in the mile, and also a 235K, which are all very solid times. And, um, yeah, I, I ended up getting, um, I think, 11th in the 3200 at this meet, and our team finished 8th in the 4x8. My school as a team for girls, they did really well, and they finished 5th out of 32, I think. Okay, and then also two more athletes I would definitely like to recognize on my team. Uh, number one is sophomore Molly. Uh, she uh, won the 3200, and she got 2nd in the mile with a time of 5.15. She qualified for the National uh, New Balance Meet in New York at the Armory, so that's great. And then also uh, Junior Chase, and she's a sprinter, and she ended up winning her 55 meter heat um, at the meet, so that was great. Um, uh, congratulations to both you guys if you're watching. Yeah, boys, we are kind of like mid-pack. Um, unfortunately, there was a few relays that didn't go exactly right, but that's how it goes. And I think we finished around uh, 15th out of 32. But it was still good, great, fun time. And uh, yeah, um, I'll be racing on March 5th and see what I can do in either the mile or the 1500. You guys will see. Um, but it'll definitely be fast. And yeah, um, if you like the video, as always, subscribe, like the video up. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.